Good morning, class. Ma'am, you are wearing a beautiful sari. Thank you, dear. What makes this sari so beautiful? It is its high quality fabric. That brings me to our new chapter, which is about fabric. Tell me, students, have you ever heard the term fabric? I have heard it. My mom says it while shopping for her dresses. Very good. So we can say fabric is basically a cloth. We use clothes in different ways in our daily lives. All the clothes are made of different types of fabrics, which are made of many fibers. Can anyone guess where do we get the fiber from? Ma'am, I know how a cotton cloth is made. It is made of cotton threads obtained from the cotton plant. Very good. Cotton is obtained from a natural source. Other examples of natural fiber are jute, wool, and silk. Apart from these, there are also man-made fabric called polyester. Polyester is made of synthetic fibers. Ma'am, how is synthetic fiber made? Synthetic fibers are made from chemical substances. A number of processes are involved in formation of synthetic fibers. They use raw material of petroleum origin which are called petrochemicals. Just like a necklace is made of many beads, a synthetic fiber is also formed by joining many small units which are all chemical substances. The smaller units are called monomers, combined to form a larger unit called polymer. Polymer is a Greek word. Poly means many and mer means unit or a part. Did you know students that cotton is also a polymer? What is cotton made of? Cotton is a polymer called cellulose. It is made of smaller units called glucose. What type of fiber are better to use? Good question. Synthetic fibers have some advantages over natural fibers. They dry quicker than natural fibers. Synthetic fibers are more durable and last longer as compared to natural fibers. Synthetic fibers are also easy to maintain and are readily available at lower costs. A big disadvantage of synthetic fibers is that they melt on catching fire and stick to the body. That is why it is dangerous to wear synthetic fibers in kitchen, laboratories or near fire. I'll tell you about silk and its man-made version. Silk was found in China and was kept a secret, hence was very expensive. By the end of 19th century, scientists formed a fabric with similar characteristics as silk. It is made out of wood pulp. It is called rayon or artificial silk. Isn't wood pulp a natural source? But the wood pulp is chemically treated to form rayon. Rayon is much cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers. Rayon is highly absorbent, comfortable and drapes well. It is easy to dye rayon in any color. Rayon is used in many ways like clothing and home furnishings. It is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and curtains or with wool to make carpets.